Welcome back to This Week with Cars. Last video with this 1962 Austin Healey Sprite. I got the engine to run, and when I hit the clutch and brake pedals, they both stuck to the floor. Today I want to start with trying to get the clutch and the brakes to work. That way the car can move about on its own power. I've shown this several times before for removing the master cylinder, which is the only master cylinder in the car. This one drives both the clutch and the brakes. It's easier to remove this entire pedal box and get to it to replace it that way. You just need to undo the two fittings in the back and then the bolts that hold the pedal box to the firewall. This pedal box is a little harder to get to than it is in the Mark I spray. It's pretty easy to get these master cylinders out. It's just two bolts that hold that in. I've got the new master cylinder here. If I hold that up right there, you can see the bolts just go through the master cylinder and hold it into the pedal box. I'll just clean up the pedal box and put the new master cylinder back in. It's a pretty quick process if you've removed the pedal box from the car. It's a little harder with it in the car because you have to be in the footwell to undo this bolt. And of course this one is in the engine bay and you have your hydraulic lines and other things in the way. It's just pretty quick to pull this off and a lot easier to do it on the bench. I'm gonna make sure to put my springs back in. And there you go, the new master cylinder is installed. I have everything reinstalled. So that's the last of this up here. Besides filling the reservoir with fluid, which I am not going to do until I fix the rest of the clutch and the brakes, all of the rest of the work is underneath the car. Just like the earlier Mark I Sprites, these cars use a solid line that comes down to the clutch slave cylinders. They don't have a hose down here. And you can't see it from here, but there is a bleeder on the slave cylinder as well. Here's the new one. It mounts just like that. You can see there's a bleeder on the top and on the back is a port where the line from the master cylinder comes down to the slave cylinder. I'm gonna take this one off real quick and replace it with a new one. Okay, I've got the new slave cylinder installed. I cleaned everything up before I put it back on. I can't test this yet because it shares the same reservoir as the braking system and I want to at least put the new brake hoses on before I put any fluid in the system. This car has three brake hoses on it, this one here in the back, and then two in the front. I've shown this several times before. I like to just cut the brake hoses. That way you can get a deep socket on this, get it spun off real easily. I'm going to replace all the brake hoses this time with stainless steel ones. I think these are Cobalt brand. The package isn't really labeled. One thing I like about these hoses is the ends are just the same as what the original hoses would be. They do not come with new fasteners, so you'll have to use your uh, nuts and washers off of the original hoses that you had. But otherwise, these install exactly the same as the originals did, but in a better quality stainless steel. Remember, only one side on the car turns. This side will turn. This side is fixed, so you must install the hose on the fixed side first. And don't forget the crush washer on this side. By the way, this is kind of a nice piece of kit. This is a wrench that has a ratcheting end on this side, but the open end is also ratcheting, and you saw that I was able to turn that without actually taking it back off of the nut. I don't know if other companies make a wrench like this, but this is handy in some situations. You install the front two hoses in a similar manner to this one here, so I'm gonna quickly do that.
Now that all the brake hoses are installed, I'm going to fill the system with brake fluid. I'm going to bleed everything, see what works and what doesn't work before I go any further. I do plan on working on the brakes some more, but it would be nice to see if everything on the car works and what else is broken. I'm going to bleed the clutch first and down here in the right side foot well is a little plug that you can remove that will get you good access to the bleeder on the slave cylinder. Okay, I have the clutch and the brakes bled. One way to find out if they work is to try them. So let's start up the engine, see if the clutch works. it for today as you can see it's dark outside now so what did we learn we learned that the engine runs the clutch works the brakes don't work so well and some of the lights don't work these mark II sprites and the mark I midgets had drum brakes in the front just like the mark I sprite did so since this car does not have any calipers and only uses wheel cylinders it's not a surprise that they've gone bad and need replaced if you want to see more videos like this comment below and click subscribe